All right, combinations. Now, in permutations, order was important, but with combinations, order is not important. For instance, if you're in a drawing for three identical prizes, let's say they're iPhones, it would not matter if you won that first, second, or third, because everybody's getting the same gift. So order is not important in that, in that, for instance. So let's count the possible combinations of two letters chosen from the list A, B, C, D. We only want two letters. Um, we'll make a permutation list where all the possible outcomes, and then we're just going to mark off any duplicate pairs. For instance, I could get A with B. I could get A with C. Or I could get A with D. So I've got A with each one of those. Now let's organize it where we have B with each one of them. I could put B with um, the A, B with the C, or B with the D. So B has been placed with each one of them. I could get C with A. I could get C with B. Uh, you can't get C with C. Or I could get C with D. And then I could get D with A, D with B, D with C, and you can't D, you get D with D. So here are the possibilities. Now, let's see, what are the same ones? What are the duplicates? Since order is not important, A, B, and B, A is the same thing, so we'll mark one of those off. A, C is the same thing as C, A, so I'll mark one of those off. AD is the same as DA, so I'll mark one of those off. BC is the same as CB. BD is the same as DB. And then CD is the same as DC. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six possible combinations.